I'm Matt Vanacoro here with my friends at Gig Performer, and I'm checking out some of the new bundled features with Gig Performer 4. There's a bunch of new built-in plugins, and the one I'd like to focus on right now is the System Actions plugin. So right here in the wiring view, I'll go ahead and right-click, and I'll go to the internal plugins and choose the category of System, and you'll see the new System Actions plugin. I don't really need to do much with it, so I'm just going to go ahead and close it and let it sit there. I'm going to connect it to some of the things on my front panel. As you can see, on the panel, I've got a nice little empty knob sitting there, just waiting for something to be assigned. I'll click on the Edit button, choose that knob, and I'll go down to the plugin and map it to the System Actions plugin. From here, the parameters give me a variety of system actions that I can alter. So one that I find really handy is the Global Transpose. I'll get out of the editor and go to the panel view, and as I play, you'll hear I've got a global transpose, which is really handy because it's not married to the individual rack space or the individual plugin that I'm using. So if I need to transpose something in a hurry, I don't have to worry that I'm only transposing one layer of my sound or one single plugin. Now with the System Actions plugin, I can do stuff that alters the entire system, the global settings. Now, that's not all. Let's say I want to change it to something else. Let's go to the master trim. So once again, uh, sometimes with software, when you're performing with a software instrument, you're looking for a global volume knob, and you don't want to turn down the volume of just your individual sound. You might want to turn the volume down of the entire thing in Gig Performer. Now from there, this trim knob might be a little small to grab in the middle of a performance. So I've got the ability now to adjust that and map it to a knob, and as you can hear, I can adjust the global trim of Gig Performer which is really handy because, again, if you want it to be a big knob, you can just go ahead and make that as big as you want and have full control. Now, that's not all. You can map things to buttons, to labels, things like that. So let's grab a button really quick. I'll go ahead and grab a nice blue pad button. There we go. And once again, I'll map it to the System Actions plugin. I don't need to make a separate System Actions plugin because I can map to a variety of the different parameters from there. So if I wanted to do something quick like make a tap tempo button, Right there, you can see my tempo is 117.2, and if I click that tap tempo button a few times, I can get back to 120. Aren't you impressed I was able to get to 120 just by clicking? <laughs> I don't think I could do that again and get there exactly if I tried. All right, we'll go back to the editor. Finally, uh, for you guitarists out there, if you want to be able to launch the tuner, you know, Gig Performer has a great audio tuner right there, but you might want to be able to launch it with a bigger button than trying to hunt down and find the tiny little button. So you have access to that as well. So there's a lot of different parameters here. You know, I can go ahead and set up a panic button, next patch. If I want the label to show me uh, the name of the current rack space I'm on, I can do that. So again, you can now launch the tuner with as big a button as you want. So if you're a guitarist from the stage, you want to be able to quickly access that, you now have the ability to do so. So it's very, very handy. So that System Actions plugin is going to give you access to a lot of global things, a lot of things that are going to help your programming and make using Gig Performer just a lot more convenient.